Top Gun 2 was more than just talk around Tinseltown. The sequel to the highest grossing film of 1986 would again star Tom Cruise as Maverick, a flight instructor who doesn't like robot technology flying planes. He likes to do it old school, like in his F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. I, I honestly, I just could not help it. I had to play this character. I was very excited about it. I, uh, is one that uh, I just didn't want to turn, turn down. You know, I, I really felt that I had a lot to offer to the character and it was going to be challenging. The original film was directed by Tony Scott, brother and business partner to Oscar-winning director Ridley Scott. Tony's recent death has sent shockwaves through the movie world and an outpouring of grief online. His distinct style redefined the modern blockbuster and influenced a host of other filmmakers such as Tarantino. It's reported Tom Cruise was already in pre-production for Top Gun 2. No definite word yet on whether the sequel will go ahead. If you want to see some of Tony Scott's A-grade filmmaking style, Crimson Tide, starring Denzel Washington, is on Movie Extra 6.30 Saturday night, September 8. And if you want to say something in memory of this great screen auteur, join us on facebook.com slash mnctv. As a director, it's always hard. I'm always terrified. Because there's superstars and they're <laughs> Happening in Hollywood, Guy Pearce and Shia LaBeouf reunited for the premiere of their gangster flick, Lawless. Also in attendance, Nick Cave, who wrote the film, Sean Combs, Alice Eve, Alexander Richards, Chad Michael Murray and Jennifer Mazzoni. Liberty Ross was also there making her first red carpet appearance since being thrust into the media spotlight when her husband Rupert Sanders was caught getting cosy with Kristen Stewart. The red carpet was rolled out in London for the premiere of Total Recall. Leading lady Kate Beckinsale was on hand with husband and director Len Wiseman, along with castmates Jessica Biel and Colin Farrell. I, mean, I think visually this film is astonishing. I'm, I'm the worst judge of my own work. Like many actors, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, brutally self-critical, uh, boringly so. Uh, so one thing I could enjoy about the film was the scope of the world and the level of detail. It's a pretty thrilling ride all around. I, I'm excited to see the, the version of the future that we've created. Most excited for them to see some amazing fight sequences between Colin and Kate and Kate and myself because they're really sort of gender neutral. It's not just girls scratching and pulling each other's hair. I mean, it's some serious warrior fighting going on. Elsewhere, co-stars Sam Riley and Tom Sturridge talked up the big screen adaptation of classic beat novel On the Road. Well, I think it's a great film. Lots of young, aside from myself, great talented actors. And um, it's a classic story. It's quicker than reading the book. I think that people today uh, will enjoy it as much as anybody else. And if you thought it was only big, buffy blokes who are expendable, it turns out the girls will get a gig being just as mean and muscly as the dudes. Well, an A-team of fighting females would have to have Linda Hamilton from the Terminator franchise, Sigourney Weaver from the Alien franchise, Uma Thurman from Kill Bill, oh, and Lucy Liu too, Jennifer Lawrence from The Hunger Games, and let's not leave out little Chloe Moretz from Kick Ass, Demi Moore can probably still go a yard, Mila Jovovich maybe from Resident Evil, and what about Angelina Jolie? Would the Tomb Raiding Mrs Smith lead the A-list of ladies as the A-team of laddies? Hey, even if it's bad, it'll do good at the box office. Anyway, it's about time all Hollywood fembots <laughs> got their guns out. Machine gun jubblies? How did I miss those, baby? And that's it for Movie Juice News.